A San Diego family is waiting to find out if their son will be out of quarantine. Blake Nelson, who grew up here, is now staying in a friend's basement out in the country. I spoke to him tonight over the phone to find out about the work he did in Liberia that has his employer asking him to lay low. Here's some of the footage Blake Nelson gathered during his week in Liberia. Signs warning of Ebola everywhere. You can't go into any business, any market, any house, anywhere without people constantly use all sorts of cleaning solutions. There's billboards and signs and murals, and it's just constantly in your face. The San Diego native and Point Loma Nazarene graduate wasn't in direct contact with patients, but he was close to the hot zone. All these guys are suiting up into these sort of triple layer spacesuits to go into the hot zone. Ebola has scared off so many organizations that normally would be here. But Nelson's filming for a group called Heart to Heart that's opening an Ebola treatment center right outside Monrovia. All these healthcare people coming in also just happen to be really wonderful, big-hearted human beings. Nelson says the healthcare workers who are there now are extremely well trained for the tough task of treating these victims and protecting themselves. You go through a couple different checkpoints where they're spraying your boots down with this Clorox bleach solution. You're constantly washing your hands. And the final precaution, now that Nelson is back in the U.S., quarantine. I'm holed up in a family friend's basement out in the country in Kansas. Nelson, who works at Mid-America Nazarene in Kansas now, was asked by the school to stay away for three weeks, even though the CDC only wants him to avoid public transportation. I give daily health temperature and symptom reports to the local health department. He says he feels great, but he agrees with the school and is even isolated from his wife, who is a nurse, until he can be officially deemed Ebola-free. As of tonight, Nelson has gone through two and a half weeks of this quarantine, so he expects to be able to see his wife and the rest of his friends and family on Saturday.